guys, it's Julie. Up uh, today, I did a Walmart haul. I am usually a Dollar Tree gal. I love Dollar Tree, but I was at Walmart returning something, so I picked up a few items. Um, the first is this amazing plant mister, and it's it is glass. Um, and there it is. It's super cute. Like super cute. Who wouldn't want that? Super super cute. So I picked that guy up. Um, it was $4.97. Um, I also got these little bandanas. I got two of each. And these were $1.97. And I'm thinking that I'm going to make pillowcases with these because they're super cute. And Or I can put them in a picture frame, uh, like a DIY picture frame. I think that would be amazing. I swung by their florals. They have tons of florals and all... Um, the harvest colors, fall colors are coming in. So um, you're seeing a lot of the orange and yellow and browns and beige. But I found these guys, eucalyptus. Um, this is called a Billy Button Pick, which I thought was pretty interesting. And a lamb's ear. So the lamb's ear eucalyptus, $2. This guy was a $1. dollar. Um, and then I got into where all the planters were and someone had to like drag me out of there because I just didn't want to leave. Because I love my plants. I love my plants. I love my plants. Um, but anyways, I got this guy. He was $4.97. He does have a little drainage hole at the bottom. Um, and this is a 5-inch. It has these little things so that when you put it down, it doesn't scratch. Excuse the oven. Um, and then I also picked up also there. Um, this guy, I love the color. It's kind of mustard. You can't really see because of the light in here. But um, this guy is six inch and it also has a drainage hole. This one I think was six ninety seven, um, and this one as well. Um, and again, same deal with the drainage hole, but super cute so that I can swap out some of the plants that I have right now because I have them in different pots that just kind of aren't matching. And I thought that this would kind of match a little more. Maybe I don't know. Um, but I thought they were cute and ooh, I'm gonna break it. And the price was great. And I found this, and this is a ceramic jug. And I thought it was amazing because it does have kind of like a broken pattern to it. And it is distressed all over the place. And I almost didn't take it because it was $12.95 or $12.98. And so I was like, ah, but then I was like, you know, I'm going to regret it. So it came home with me. Um, and I'm sure that I will put it to work here at the house. Um, and I also found this guy. He's so cute. Um, galvanized milk jug. Um, also, you can, you know, I'm thinking that I am just going to put um, artificial flowers in here, um, which I think would be cute and maybe a sign. Um, but I don't know. He was $8.97. Really super cute. Um, and I also went to the crafting area and I found this glass bead mix bulk pack. And this was $6.95, which I thought was a pretty good deal because I ordered something on eBay and I think I got like 20 little beads and it was almost $7, which I thought was kind of pricey, but I don't know. You know, so when I saw this, I was like, what? I got to get it. So here it is. So I'm sure that I'm going to be able to make some amazing little projects with these beads. Um, and in that same area, I found these bath bombs in the three different sizes, like the small, the medium, and the large. And there's two per, so two, two, and two. Um, and that's what it would look like. This was, let me see, how much were these? I can't remember, but... Um, the bath bombs was $5.47, $5.47 for the bath bombs. Um, I was looking for those at Dollar Tree because they do have the ice, um, for the round ice, but I haven't found it in my area here. So if you guys see it in your area, let me know where you're at. Um, I am in California, in Northern California, and I just haven't found them. Um, I also found these and well, I didn't find them they were sitting there and I saw them and and so I got two of the larger ones these were two bucks 297 each um, a medium and a small and I am going to do a DIY with these with maybe some lace 
Um, I don't know, but I'm gonna put something in them and hang them on my wall and I may stain the wood. Um, so it's, it might be like a darker, medium, light, and then just leave as is. But I'm sure that I'll find a good use for these. So if you do have those um, laying around that maybe you haven't used in years, you could do that. There are some amazing projects out there um, that use these guys. Um, and then I saw this and I am really enjoying the color yellow right now. Um, it just makes me happy. I don't know. It makes me happy. And the reason that I craft is because um, with everything that was happening with the pandemic, I um, got very anxious and crafting just helps me process some of my anxiety and just helps me um, keep my mind occupied. So I craft. Um, so I found this guy, it's like yellow and kind of cream chevron stripes. And this is three yards and it was $8. Um, and I think it's it's kind of a thick, thicker material. Um, and it's, it's beautiful. I'm thinking that I may um, swap out the pillowcases in my backyard because right now they are kind of all different colors. Um, and maybe I might just um, use this to cover some of them um, so they kind of match a little better than what they're looking like right now. Um, I also found this guy. I don't have a picture. We recently moved and the little picture that I have is super small. <laughs> small. Um, and I just wanted something bigger. This was $2.97 and it, they were all different colors for summer. But I love the ones with the little lemons and I got the top in yellow again because yellow, yellow. Um, I'm sure in a couple years I'll be like, what was I thinking with yellow? But we're not there. Yet. So I'm into the yellow and I love it. Um, I've recently tried to make um lemonade uh carnival lemonade i think that's what they called it and it was amazing so i'm going to try to make some more where we move there is a lemon tree so lemons are abundant so i think that i'm going to use that and um make some lemonade use this then i found this guy and this guy was just one of those where if you're a crafter you're like hey i can repurpose this and do something else with it this guy was 298 it is a wire bait cage and it baited me into getting it so it came home with me um it has a cute little thing that you open and I, I do not fish so I don't know so if you do fish forgive me if I'm totally like I don't know what I'm talking about but I'm gonna use this to craft I'm gonna craft something amazing it has a little hook and then the top part opens I, I may spray this a different color um, I don't know, you know, it's just super cute. And I thought for $2.98, why not, why not? Um, and then I also picked up some candle wicks. Um, I do have some candles that are kind of um, halfway burned or I just have like the little bottom portion of it. And I think that I am going to try to consolidate them into a bigger candle and I'm gonna need the wicks. So that's why I got them um, and this is also in the crafting area. Um, what else did I pick up? I think that's pretty much it, guys. Oh, I picked up uh, some stretch cord for the beats that I'm going to work on. Um, and I'm thinking that I'm going to make some kind of a wind chime, like a real long one that just catches the colors and um, talking about these guys. Um, and just makes it pretty with maybe a um, some wood piece in there or something. I don't know. Um, creativity just comes. And when it comes, you just got to let it flow. And, you know, I mean, I don't know. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I will try to stay out of Walmart. <laughs> and hopefully next time I go to Dollar Tree, I will upload a video. Um, if it's your first time here, um, subscribe and hit the little like for me. Um, like I said, I am doing this just for fun. Because I love to see videos where people go and show me exactly what they shop for and I'm sitting there going wow I wish my Walmart or my Dollar Tree had all this and that um but yeah anyways um thanks for swinging by and have yourself a lovely